gonna walk you through, of course, installing your Oracle one terabyte M.2 SSD. Now this SSD, of course, does to 3,100 megabytes of reading uh, with this. Now, uh, you're reading and writing, of course, is gonna be perfectly well. We're gonna actually do some testing once we have it installed to show you guys what we're actually getting off of these. Now, which is kinda cool. Now, one terabyte. Now, inside this kit, you're gonna get the SSD. You're also gonna get, of course, the actual heat shield with that as well and of course the screw to actually implicate it or install it into of course your motherboard with that if this screw does not work use the screws that come with of course your motherboard uh, packaging now inside like I said you're gonna get the Oracle M.2 now this is of course a PCI Gen 3 by 4 uh, PCIe uh, connector and that is of course your SSD this is gonna be the gold pin side this is gonna be the side you're going to screw now remember I said it does come with a couple things and that's gonna be of course the heat shielding and of course thermal pads you're gonna stick the thermal pads of course to the M.2 and then you're gonna stick this plating in between to sandwich it it's got, of course, fanning, and the fanning is going to allow it to cool. The thermal pads are going to help conduct that cooling with this. Now, we're going to be installing this, of course, into our PC case. That PC case, of course, does need to be taken apart. We're going to have to actually pull off the glass siding. Now, if your PC does not have glass siding, uh, you may have a little bit easier of a way of doing this. And, of course, mine's glass, so I do have to be a little cautious so we don't break the glass. Uh, we're going to, of course do the thumb screws on this and it's of course four thumb screws that hold this glass on uh, we're going to then grab of course and hopefully don't drop the glass and break it uh, that's just one of them things with this uh, you do have to be careful so the glass is off we're going to set it aside out of the way we're going to take the thumb screws and set it on a table behind us inside here i have multiple m.2 slots we're not going to use the top one. I want the top one left undone. We're going to have to pull out, of course, the graphics card to get into the slot I want. You'll disconnect that cable and remember how the cable went. You'll then grab, of course, your screwdriver and, of course, your screwdriver bit. Uh, then you're going to go over here and you're going to have to, of course, unscrew the actual motherboard. Now, with this, this is actually quite simple. It's just literally two screws. Uh, these two screws on mine are actually simplified with this, so we're good here with that. Just two screws and we're simplified with this. Now, you may have an electric screwdriver, you may not have an electric screwdriver. By luck, I have one and we're just going to use the electric screwdriver. I'm just going to hand twist it though, because, well, it's two small screws. We're going to hit this thumb, pick the release back here, and of course the graphics card is now going to come out. Once we're out there, the graphics card is out and we're good to go. We're then going to move over and we're going to pop out, of course, the, uh, actually it looks like, you know what, we are golden. We're going to pull out, of course, the capture card as well. I do have a capture card in here. I'm making this easier for us so you guys can actually see everything that's in here with this on hand. We're going to pop that. We're going to, of course, move this over. Now, we are now open and we have, of course, the openings of everything. We have the M.2 slot up here. We have the M.2 slot down there. Now, if you want... You can take, of course, the SSD and just drop it on in with this and connect it up and you're good to go. Now, with that being said, I'm going to actually install the cooling pieces to this. We're going to set it up properly. So you guys give me a second. We're going to switch slight views. Okay, guys. Now, what we're going to do is, like I said, we're going to take this SSD. We're going to actually add some thermal pads to this. Uh, we're going to grab our first one. Now, remember, a thermal pad, of course, has some stick on it. Uh, you're going to pull off the plastic of the stick to, of course, adapt to that. Now, like I said, I'm putting it on here. We're going to put it on the bottom side just like this. Uh, we're going to allow it to, of course, stick just like that. And then we're going to peel off the backing off of this side as well for that. Now, once we do that, just like that, we're peeled. We can grab the back plating and we can set the back plating onto this. Now, the back plating is going to have two screw guides so you can actually connect that up just like that. That's all there is to, of course, connecting that first piece. Now, you're going to grab, of course, the second piece and we're going to do the same thing we're going to peel off the plastic now you can either peel the plastic all at once if that's what you want it's not going to hurt it uh, if you guys can get the plastic off without of course hurting the thermal pad uh, just like that now once we do that we're going to peel it we're going to do this and we're going to of course grab that and we're going to drop off the pad and we're going to grab the pad and we're going to stick the pad to of course like i said the top of this and now hopefully i can set this in place not an issue.
you may or may not have an easier time than me because I am recording. Uh, you guys probably just set this down. I'm going to set this down because I want to do this properly. So just like that, we got the thermal pad on. We're going to grab, of course, this metal piece, and we're now going to clip the metal in, of course, to the actual uh, device. Now, once it's sandwiched in, we are good to go. So we're now sandwiched in. Now, of course, we're going to feed it into, of course, the top one right here, just like this. Uh, we're going to set that in there. Uh, we're going to find the actual proper placement with this, and then we are going to set it up. Now. Depending on how you have it set up, you may have to adjust your actual cooling fans on this device. Now, I brought you guys in a little closer right here. We're going to take, of course, the SSD. We're then going to slide it into the SSD slot. Uh, we're going to pop that in there. We're going to make sure it makes a connection, and then we're going to set it just like that. Now, it does come with the screw, but I already have the screw, so we're good to go with this. We're going to just take the single screw, uh, just like this. We're going to then, of course, push the SSD in there. Now I know you guys might be having a little problem seeing this because recording and big hands don't always make for the best viewing angles. Uh, once we have that guys we're gonna start screwing this in just like this. Now we're gonna make sure of course that the screw goes in properly um, just like this and it's going to of course feed down the SSD into place so you don't have to worry about it. Now once it's in there, it's in, it's nice, and it's taut. You're good to go, and then, of course, you're going to reverse a whole bunch of other stuff. Like I was saying, we're going to have to reverse a bunch of processes, so I'm going to bring this back out right here. We're going to start, of course, reversing some of these processes. First and foremost, we need to put, of course, the capture card back into the capture card slot uh, because, well, we use the capture card to record a bunch of stuff, so we do have to do that with this. Now, we take, of course, the thumb screw, uh, with this, of course, and then we're going to, of course, reverse the screwing. Uh, if you guys have an electric screwdriver, use the electric screwdriver to make your work easier. Second, you're going to, of course, grab the graphics card, and we're going to set the graphics card in its slot as well. It's going to click into place. Once it's clicked into place, you're going to, of course, reverse those two screws as well with this. Now, it's always best to do the upper screw before you do the bottom screw, just so you guys know the placement of this. Now... Don't over tighten these. You don't really need to over tighten any of this stuff. Uh, you just make sure it's nice and snug, but not over tighten with that because right there, we're in, we're set, and we're golden. And then you're just going to put, of course, the wires back on. Now, it is now in place. It is set up. It's good to go. What we're going to now do, grab the glass front. Make sure you put the glass front back into, of course, the placement where it needs to be. Second, you're going to be like, oh, well, we forgot the screws, and we did. We're just going to reach over to the table. We're going to grab those screws right here, and we're going to screw them back in. Just like this, and we are now rolling with the case together. Now, next up, of course, once we have all this up, we're going to connect it up to, of course, a monitor we're going to do some speed testing we're going to show you guys what the speeds can actually do on that ssd uh, with that of course installed uh, and then hey we'll wrap this up be right back guys now that we have installed the pc we're actually using this as a second drive so we don't really need to actually install windows what we're going to do is of course pull up crystal disk mark 8 we're going to do a quick speed test of reading and writing with this. Now it is drive G over here. Uh, so we're just going to allow this to run. Uh, it's going to take a few minutes to run these tests, of course, with this. Now, your PC may vary uh, from PC to PC, so your speeds also may vary as well. Now remember, you're supposed to get up to about 3,000 megabytes of reading and so on with that, depending on your PC, the specs of your PC, the motherboards that allow it, of course, with all of that on hand. Now with that, we're just doing a quick read and write test so you guys can see what it does while it's installed. Um, and then, you know, you guys be the judge from there. 
As like I said, it's going to take a few minutes to go through these processes that we are doing on hand right now. Uh, we are on, of course, now we're on second read or third read now, and then we're going to go on fourth read. Now it will drop down as it goes through those reads sometimes. Uh, same with the writing. It's going to go, of course, you know, from larger to a little smaller as it heats up and goes. Uh, remember, guys, if you have the thermal pads on there perfectly, uh, it's going to keep it cooler as you're doing this so you don't have to worry about it getting too hot as we're going uh, and then reading and writing, which is kind of cool. Now, right there, there's your read speeds, of course. The top one is uh, the best on hand, uh, but it did drop as it went down. Uh, same one, now we got the right. So they're about comparable from the side to side. Uh, so that's not too discouraging for me with that. I do wish it was, you know, the 3,000 on hand but that they claim. But you see what we're getting right here. So uh, if it is about equal both reading and writing, I'm not going to complain with that right now as a second drive uh this will definitely do for you know pretty much anybody's normal day usage uh from you know gaming to just video content creating to just rather usage around the block so like i said guys the oracle one terabyte m.2 nvme se uh is a great little option right here now you guys are seeing these speeds uh firsthand right there for you which is kind of cool uh, right there, guys, we have our test just done. So the first is about 1,038, and of course the right is about 1,003. That's pretty equal both sides. So if you guys need an M.2 SSD right here, Oracle's got you covered with this one terabyte version.